Um, so I said, 40, 50 people a day, and so that we're open three days a week, and you're not you're only allowed to come once a month. So the three times, so that's 120 times four, and then lots of days are 60. Yeah, we um, so we 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 service about a thousand people a month. We we struggle to give them healthy food. And uh, some of the good stuff we've got is like the shelf-stable milk, the milk that's in the, the UTH boxes. That's those are that's good. And uh, we usually have peanut butter for a while when there were the recalls. We couldn't even get peanut butter. We never have jelly. Never, never. I think a lot of times when when folks talk about about these these starving, unwashed masses that use this, what we get to talk about are the success stories. And I am sick of that. There are no, you know, never mind the success stories, never mind the bootstraps. The problem is there's a lot of people, this is the best they can do. This is, this is, this is it. This is the best. I went, I had a woman who came in and was crying and she was a grandmother taking care of a bunch of grandchildren, just like a lot of, a lot of people that I have. And, and what her autistic grandson had left the freezer open and all of her food was gone. She was ruined. And so we got her some food, a second hit, for, we got her some. And then at the end of the day, it hadn't been as busy as what we thought. And I had, we had a lot of produce left over and, and stuff. So, and she just lives down the street. So I loaded up on my bike and, and took it all to her house. And, and while we were there, she wanted to show me her garden and what, what all she was doing. And as she took me to the garden, we go by this big, metal bakery shelf with 300 cans of, of food on it. And so my first thought is, oh, what do you mean you don't have anything to feed these kids? You have 300 cans of food here. And I, know, but I, just, I didn't say anything. I'm still trying, you know, work it out. Don't, you, don't, you don't know what's going on in their lives. And then I, got, then I got done and got out of there and I got thinking about that. That's her 401k. That's everything. That's all that she has. There's 300 cans. There's nothing else. She's, oh, she's already in subsidized housing. She's already, every, she's, she's taking advantage of every part of the safety net possible. And if that doesn't make her feel secure, wonder why not, this is what she's got. She's got her little tiny Armageddon set of foods that'll get her another three or four weeks if everything else falls apart. That's what she has.